After defending Xie Ting with our lives, we led several attacks on the north. Sadly, we never managed any significant progress. Meanwhile, our kingdom has dwindled and grown weak. Now, in our time of need, the kingdom of Wu is sending an army to try to conquer us. But I won't let that happen. In the name of my late master, Liu Bei, I will protect Xu. What is this strange feeling? I find myself gripping my spear not out of anger or hate. I am driven by something else entirely. What is it that makes me feel such passion? The Three Kingdom strategy has gone on for quite some time now. We must try and defeat Wei and Wu while we still have the chance. The next battle is the defense of Bai Di Castle. Ma Chao, you must lead the army and raise the morale of the troops. I am counting on you. There is a reason I cannot go to the battlefield. But I have prepared a number of strategies just for this type of occasion. In this battle, it shall be us who defeats Wu. Jing Kai! You should not be out here on the battlefield. No, I should. This is for my father and for Shu. It'll be okay. My lord, I shall protect you. I must defend my father's kingdom. Noble spirits, lend me your strength. I hope you're ready to fight to the death, little lady. Of course. Duty above all else. Ma Chao, engage the enemy as they come. I will head for the stone center. You can count on my spear to hold them at bay. I fight in the name of justice! In the name of justice! So this is well. 
I fight in the name of justice. Shu is our kingdom, and we'll defend it ourselves. attack even the innocent. I must stand here to remain true to my lord. <laughs> Liu Bei is dead. However, as long as I still live, his virtuous legacy shall continue. My spear and I will bring justice back to the land. My blade will make you pay for your injustice. <laughs> like dogs without you. We'll pay you back by defending the castle. Damn, it's over already. I fight in the name of justice. Do you think you can stop me? Now, attack! Is this the end? I fight in the name of justice! Brought your allies with you. It's over already. I fight in the name of justice.
is an honor to die in battle for the glory of Wu. I fight in the name of justice! Our work is done here. Strike the main camp. I fight in the name of justice! Trying to take the base. Stop them! I didn't miss it, did I? Don't slow down. Bring back Sun Quan's head! Looking for a good fight. We shall lead the way. Everybody, attack! Back off before I split your head in two. Yeah. 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 
in the name of justice! Our fire attack is bound to succeed. in the name of justice! We have come from the Wuzhang Plains. You face not only me, but the spirit of the entire Soon family. That was a pretty flashy display. Victory in this battle is ours. The ambition of the Soon family burns in my blade. I hope you're ready to see that ambition shattered.
victory in this battle is ours. Now is the time to attack! I have let my father and brother down. I fight in the name of justice! We defended Bai Di Castle and defeated Sudan Quan thanks to everybody's bravery and father watching over us from the heavens. I, however, was unable to do anything. From now on, I vow to become strong like everybody else, to protect this land that father and so many others gave their lives to protect. I ask that you follow me and lend me your assistance. <laughs> It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Ma Chao, from the land of Fu Feng. He was the eldest son of Ma Teng, the ruler of Xiliang. Ma Chao was known not only for his outstanding skills in the martial arts, but also for his elaborate armor, which earned him the nickname Ma Chao the Splendid. The emperor invited Ma Teng to the capital in an effort to stop Cao Cao's manipulation of the court. However, Cao Cao learned of the plot and executed him for treason. Ma Chao's burning desire to avenge his father made him swear to eliminate Cao Cao and his ambitions. Ma Chao would ally himself with Han Sui, his father's good friend, and together engage Cao Cao at Tong Gate. However, the two could not get their revenge as Xu Zhu came to save Cao Cao at a critical moment. Discouraged, Ma Chao wandered the land aimlessly. One day, he was discovered and welcomed by Liu Bei. Ma Chao, who had been fighting in the name of vengeance, changed his ways upon hearing about Liu Bei's ambitions to unite the land. As it had done with so many heroes before, the widespread chaos claimed Liu Bei's life following the Battle of Yiling. Bearing the will of his fallen comrades, Ma Chao decided to begin a new fight. After defeating Wu, the only enemy remaining was Wei. The Ma Chao who once fought for the sake of vengeance was no more, fighting instead on the side of justice. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Thank you. 
Who has fallen? All that remains are you scum of way! I stand against you, not out of spite. I am led only by the light of justice! Come here! Face me! Thank you.